China is bringing in robots to help. You heard that right. China is deploying robotic weapons along the border with India. I think the danger of AI is much greater than the, the, the danger of nuclear warheads by a lot. Mark my words, AI is far more dangerous than nukes. We're very close to the, to the cutting edge in AI, and it scares the hell out of me. It's capable of vastly more than almost anyone knows, and the rate of improvement is exponential. Elon Musk is as controversial as he is successful. If one company or small group of people manages to develop godlike digital superintelligence, they could take over the world. He's not the type who shies away from polarizing debates. At least when there's an evil dictator, that human is going to die. But for an AI, there would be no death. It would live forever. Neither is he the type who plays his cards close to his chest. That's why he recently gave his opinion on the ever-growing popularity of artificial intelligence. And I'm afraid what he said is not what everyone expected to hear. According to the Tesla CEO, terrorists and other criminal organizations are turning artificial intelligence against humanity. His stern warning comes in the wake of massive investment in the AI space, especially the metaverse. Mark my words, AI is far more dangerous than nukes. This is not the first time Musk has urged the world to regulate AI before it becomes a danger to humanity. The billionaire's thoughts on artificial intelligence are pretty well known at this point. He famously compared working on AI to summoning the demon and has warned time and time again that the technology poses an existential risk to humanity. The danger of AI is much greater than the, the, the danger of nuclear warheads by a lot. At a gathering of US governors in July of 2017, he repeated these sentiments and stressed something he says is even more important. Governments need to start regulating AI now. I have exposure to the very cutting edge AI and I think people should be really concerned about it. Musk told attendees at the National Governors Association summer meeting in 2017. I keep sounding the alarm bell, but until people see robots going down the street killing people, they don't know how to react because it seems so ethereal. The solution, says Musk, is regulation. AI is a rare case where we need to be proactive about regulation instead of reactive, because I think by the time we are reactive in AI regulation, it's too late. He added that what he sees as the current model of regulation in which governments step in only after a whole bunch of bad things happen is inadequate for AI because the technology represents a fundamental risk to the existence of civilization. As ever, Musk is not talking about the sort of artificial intelligence that companies like Google, Uber, and Microsoft currently use, but what is known as artificial general intelligence, some conscious, super-intelligent entity, like the sort you see in sci-fi movies. Musk and many AI researchers believe that work on the former will eventually lead to the latter. Still, plenty of people in the science community doubts this will ever happen, especially in any of our lifetimes. What researchers are worried about is how current forms of narrow and stupid artificial intelligence can be abused. David Ha, a researcher working with Google Brain, said on Twitter in response to Musk's comments that he was more concerned about machine learning being used to mask unethical human activities than the threat of super-intelligent AI. Francois Chalet, the creator of the deep neural net platform Keras, replied that while artificial intelligence makes a few existing threats worse, it was unclear if it created any new ones. Arguably, the greatest threat is mass population control via message targeting and propaganda bot armies. Machine learning is not a requirement, though, said Chalet. Back in 2014, Musk said if the robots take over, at least he will be able to say, I told you so. The billionaire inventor loves to make the impossible possible, but he is deeply afraid of artificial intelligence. On Twitter, he said that we need to be super careful with AI, adding that they are potentially more dangerous than nukes. If that weren't concerning enough, Musk followed up his statement with another tweet that read, Hope we're not just the biological bootloader for digital superintelligence. Unfortunately, that is increasingly probable. Both are scary enough. One compares sentient networked robots with the most dangerous weapon on Earth, and the other suggests we're merely the fleshy precursors to robot dominance. It isn't hard to imagine what a doomsday scenario could look like, especially with Google snatching up Boston Dynamics, makers of the creepiest robots on Earth, and an artificial intelligence company called DeepMind. 
Futurist and artificial intelligence expert Ray Kurzweil offers a different argument than Musk. In my view, biological humans will not be outpaced by the AIs because we will enhance ourselves with AI, Kurzweil said back in 2014. It will not be us versus the machines, but rather we will enhance our own capacity by merging with our own intelligent creations. Musk, though, is far from alone in his exceedingly skeptical, some might say bleakly alarmist views. A few years ago, the late physicist Stephen Hawking was similarly forthright when he told an audience in Portugal that AI's impact could be cataclysmic unless its rapid development is strictly and ethically controlled. Unless we learn how to prepare for and avoid the potential risks, he explained, AI could be the worst event in the history of our civilization. And considering the number and scope of unfathomably horrible events in world history, that's really saying something. As AI grows more sophisticated and ubiquitous, the voices warning against its current and future pitfalls grow louder. Whether it's the increasing automation of certain jobs, gender and racial bias issues stemming from outdated information sources, or autonomous weapons that operate without human oversight, to name just a few, unease abounds on several fronts, and we're still in the very early stages. Nonetheless, despite his reservations, Musk through Tesla is working on developing a robot that can aid in our day-to-day -day lives. The billionaire announced a humanoid robot designed to help with those repetitive, monotonous tasks people hate doing. He suggested it could run to the grocery store for you, but presumably it would handle many tasks involving manual labor. Predictably, social media is filled with references to a string of dystopian sci-fi movies about robots where everything goes horribly wrong. As troubling as the robot futures in movies like The Terminator and others are, it's the underlying technologies of real humanoid robots and the intent behind them that should be cause for concern. Musk's robot is being developed by Tesla. It's a seeming departure from the company's car-making business until you consider that Tesla isn't a typical automotive manufacturer. The so-called Tesla bot is a concept for a sleek, 125-pound human-like robot that will incorporate Tesla's automotive artificial intelligence and autopilot technologies to plan and follow routes, navigate traffic, in this case, pedestrians, and avoid obstacles. Dystopian sci-fi overtones aside, the plan makes sense, albeit within Musk's business strategy. The built environment is made by humans for humans, and as Musk argued at the Tesla bot's announcement, successfully advanced technologies will have to learn to navigate it in the same way people do. Yet Tesla's cars and robots are merely the visible product of a much broader plan aimed at creating a future where advanced technologies liberate humans from our biological roots by blending biology and technology. Let's not forget, Musk is a man with big plans. Self-driving cars, interplanetary rockets, and brain-machine interfaces are steps towards the future Musk envisions where technology is humanity's savior. In this future, energy will be cheap, abundant, and sustainable. People will work in harmony with intelligent machines and even merge with them, and humans will become an interplanetary species. It's a future that, judging by Musk's various endeavors, will be built on a set of underlying interconnected technologies that include sensors, actuators, energy and data infrastructures, systems integration, and substantial advances in computer power. Together, these make a formidable toolbox for creating transformative technologies. Musk imagines humans ultimately transcending our evolutionary heritage through beyond human or superhuman technologies. For example, some Tesla drivers have treated their tech-enhanced cars as though they are fully autonomous vehicles and fail to pay sufficient attention to driving. Could something similar happen with the Tesla bot? We'll see about that. Until then, we remain watchful. In our upcoming videos, we will be keeping tabs on the development of the Tesla bot and whether it will pass the production stage successfully. So be sure to subscribe so you don't miss that and much more.